Today's video is an overview of how to use the BeraChain testnet. BeraChain is a highly anticipated upcoming layer one, and there's already a ton of huge DeFi projects that are planning to launch on it. I think that this testnet has a good chance of qualifying you for a BeraChain airdrop. However, even if it doesn't, testing out new things in crypto is not the worst way to spend your time, and it'll give you a leg up when BeraChain launches for real either way. Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick. As a reminder, nothing in this video is financial advice, and you should still do your own research before trying any cryptocurrency applications. Now let's get into it. Before we jump into the tutorial, real briefly, what exactly is BearChain? Because it sounds like a joke, I understand. And if you go to the homepage, it's got this picture of a bear on it. Uh, but what exactly is it? Because it's actually not a joke. It's actually a quite interesting DeFi related chain. And it's a layer one, meaning that it's a general purpose smart contract chain in this case. It's EVM compatible, meaning that applications that are launched on Ethereum, Arbitrum, other sorts of Ethereum related chains, those can easily deploy onto BearChain. It's modular, which is good for customization and scalability. And this is the key part. It's powered by something known as proof of liquidity. And this is something that, as far as I know, has never really been done before. The idea behind proof of liquidity is that it aligns incentives between network security and liquidity by validators because it rewards liquidity providers on BearChain with a non-purchasable staking token. So I'll explain exactly how that works. BearChain has actually three tokens. So that's the important part. It has Bera. Bera is the gas token for the network. It has something known as BGT. That's the governance token. That's what you're staking. And that is what will be used to determine emissions. And then it has Honey, which is a stable coin. And the key thing is BGT is non-transferable. So in theory, you can't buy it. You earn it by providing liquidity on this DEX known as BEX, which is a bear chain native DEX. It's a, it's a DEX that's native to the, to the entire chain. And so the way it works is you provide liquidity on here with tokens on the chain, such as Bera or, or Honey. And then in return, you actually receive these BGT emissions and then you can take those BGT emissions and you can stake them. As far as I know, this is nothing like this has ever been done before, this, this three token model. And I think this is going to be a pretty cool DeFi ecosystem to get into. I'm really excited for it to launch. And one way to anticipate the launch is actually to try out the testnet, because then when it launches for real, you'll already be ahead of the game. You'll understand exactly how all the mechanisms with bribing and staking and all that work and you won't have to play catch up, right? The best way to learn things in crypto is to actually try them out, as is the case with, with most things in life. And although I don't know for sure whether there's gonna be an airdrop for testnet users or what the qualifications are gonna be, in the past, many chains have rewarded people that use the testnet, so I don't think it hurts to try. All right, here's how you can get started. First thing you'll need to do is to actually add the BearChain testnet to your wallet. And the way you can do that is you can go to this native exchange, bex at rdo.bex.barachain.com, and you can click on the connect button and then you can select MetaMask. You connect your MetaMask and it will prompt you to add BearChain RDO, that's the BearChain testnet, to your wallet. I'll click on approve, I'll switch network, and now I am on BearChain on this demo wallet. Next thing you'll need to do is you'll need to get some testnet funds from the BearChain faucet. For that, you can go to rdo.faucet.barachain.com. I'll agree to the terms and conditions. I will copy my wallet address and I'll click on drip tokens. My request was submitted and the testnet tokens should appear in my wallet in about two minutes. It only took about 10 seconds to receive the tokens, but now if I open my wallet, I can see that I have 0.1 Bera on this testnet. And remember, this isn't transferable for anything real. This is just testnet Bera to actually test out the network. But now we are ready to start using some applications on Bera chain. And so the first thing that I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm gonna go back to this exchange and I'm gonna to wanna to make a swap, right? And ideally, if you are trying to qualify for any sort of airdrop or something, you'll actually make more than one swap, right? You'll, I'm not saying just transfer all your funds back and forth, but over an extended period of time, you'll actually make, make a few swaps on different dates, different months, etc. 
And so I'm gonna swap some of it for honey because honey is the native token of Barra Chain. Let's just swap 0.02 Barra. I'll preview the swap, click on swap, and approve the transaction. And let's see how fast this testnet is, right? Part of the reason these protocols do test nets is to actually test out how everything works uh, sort of in production, right? Because you're going to have people like me coming to it either to try it out or to try to qualify for some sort of airdrop. And so the transaction was a success. Now, if I refresh, I should see that I have some honey and some Barra. And look at that. I've now got 3.23 honey. Great. Next thing I'm going to want to do is actually provide some liquidity. Great. And so I'm going to try to provide liquidity to the Barra honey pool. Let's do that right here. We're going to add multi-token. I'll max out the honey. I'll max out the Barra. Or let's do 0 0.02 Barra. Preview it. Approve. I'll approve the Barra now. And once those approvals are done, I'm ready to add liquidity. So I think, so I click on add liquidity and I confirm the transaction and it should just take a second to actually add my liquidity. And so now what I'm doing is I'm providing liquidity on this Barachain Bex decentralized exchange on their RDO testnet to earn some fake testnet rewards to try it out. And again, to hopefully uh, qualify for any sort of future airdrop. And now once you've deposited liquidity, I'll note that it may not appear in the My Pools section right away. You can see that mine isn't. However, after a minute or two, you should be able to go to Rewards and you should see your position here. And you can see that I'm starting to earn the BGT tokens now. However, uh, as of yet, I don't have many at all, right? I have less than 0 0.01. Um, you can claim it. Uh, it's not really worth very much. It's just a tiny bit because I just started providing a small amount of liquidity a minute ago. However, over a longer period of time, this should start to add up. And once you've accumulated some BGT, you can go over here to the Barachain testnet station and you can actually delegate some of those tokens to validators. The website for this is rdo.station.barachain.com. You can see there's a section for my BGT, there's validators, there's delegate. If you've done any sort of staking before, uh, or governance voting, this should look familiar to you. And I think this isn't a bad thing to do also. Uh, and so I'm going to connect my MetaMask to this website. Again, be prompted to confirm. And I don't have any BGT yet because I just started, just started testing this out on this wallet. But this is exactly where you would go to start staking your BGT. And you can really choose any of these validators. We are on a test net, so I, I don't think it it particularly matters which one you're using, but you could choose one, you could click on delegate, and then if you had any BGT, this is where you would go to to actually delegate it. And then once you've done that, I would also recommend taking a look at governance proposals that come out and actually on voting on these because that could be another criteria that would qualify you for a potential Barachain airdrop. Another functionality on Barachain that you may want to explore is their Honey application. This again is their native stablecoin. And I'm guessing once Barachain goes live, there's probably gonna be some really good yields involving this Honey token. So learning how to work with it might not be the worst thing in the world. And the way you access this website is rdo.honey.barachain.com. You can see so far, all of these websites have been something.barachain.com. We'll connect our, our wallet as we have been doing. And then what you can do here is you can actually provide STG USDC and you can use that to mint honey tokens. Next website, that's again a DeFi application on Bear Chain, native to the chain, so built in, is their Bend application. This is their lending platform. And, and so we can connect our, our wallet to this website. And this is basically going to be a money market where you can supply honey you can deposit wrapped BTC, you can deposit wrapped ETH, uh, and then you can borrow honey as well. And good way to earn BGT, good way to generate some transactions on the, on the network. 
And then the final DeFi application that you may want to use, they're really, they've, they're building all the fundamentals at the protocol level, which I think is really interesting, is this Burps application, Burps, Barachain, Perps. This is a perpetual DEX, a Perp DEX for trading with leverage. And this, they only have a few markets right now, BTC, USDC, ETH, USDC, Atom, USDC, and TIA, USDC. Although remember, this is all a test net, right? And what you can do here is you can you can provide tokens as collateral and then you can actually open up longs on on various tokens up to a 100x leverage although i mean they're testnet tokens but you might find yourself liquidated on the testnet if you open up too many 100x's and those are the main defi applications on bear chain Something else that you may look at exploring is the Bera Names service. This is for minting Bera Names. You can, for example, click on create your Bera Name. Here, for example, you can either type things directly in. Patrick, I'm sure that's taken. Yes, that is already taken. Or you can select emojis, right? You can, you can add some emojis to your name. Maybe I want to do Patrick with a nice smiley face or two smiley faces. And I can register it for 0.00 Bera. And let's register it. Confirm. Funny, it says the network is busy on, on the testnet. And then I've now registered this Bera name to this demo wallet that I'm, that I'm using right now. Some other things that you might explore doing on Bera chain is they also have a galaxy quest. It's called March of the Barras, part one onboarding. And this is gonna walk you through some of the things that we've already talked about in this video. And it also has some social tasks as well. So in addition to doing these tasks on here, you might as well also do the galaxy quests because that's that's gonna be another way that Barra chain will, tack, will uh, track people who are actually using the chain. Another website you can check out if you wanna do even more is the 0x Honey Jar website. That's faucet.0xhoneyjar.xyz slash quests. And they run some other quests. This is a community driven project, so not bear chain itself. However, another good way to get involved with the community and potentially take some favorable actions involving bear chain related projects. And they have some quests that are ongoing and then they have some other upcoming quests here as well. If you wanna learn more about DeFi, airdrops, and crypto, be sure to check out my newsletter, dynamodefi.substack.com. Each week I send out the latest trends, I send out a farm of the week, and I send out some on-chain analysis to help you with your crypto research. And for more videos like this one, be sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.